Um, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this crayon artwork. Um, I have a heat gun that I got a while ago at I don't know, Home Depot or something. It's you can probably look it up to see what it is. It's I think uh, 700 degrees Fahrenheit on low, you know, 1400 degrees on high. But I'm not sure. You can look it up. Uh, so what I do is just go over it really slowly so it starts to soften up, and then let it drip, let it cool, and then just repeat. And that uh, I will get those nice clean, crisp lines. And let's go ahead here. I like to do it on a vertical surface so it doesn't get too many drips starting out with it first. pretty long so I can't do the whole thing at the same time so I like to start at one end and work my way down. So I'll start here at the green. You can see it's starting to leak now so I'll bring it off. Let it drip a little bit, help it out. And then I let it stop. I don't want it to drip off the page. Let it cool just a little bit and start it over again. Still waiting for it to dry a little bit more. Right, let's go back at it. I want a lot more uh, width in my line, so I'll blow dry it a little bit to get some color pulled up, and then I'll let more of it drip down. Get a nice little color there, maybe tilt it a little bit to get some nice swirling and then let it go down. Let me see how it looks so far. And uh, that should be cooling up in a couple seconds. And I'll keep doing it until I get something that I like. And then I'll move slowly over to the next couple colors. Do it too close, you have to watch out, otherwise the wrappers start to melt a little bit. You don't want that. Put it up here so you can see better. Uh, what I'm going to do for this artwork is I'm going to actually do one side here and then uh, once this is completely done, I'm gonna, I haven't done this so I'm actually just going to try it. I'm going to put some tin foil over this so this doesn't melt anymore. Put another layer over here and then work it that way on the other side. So it's got this opposite thing going on. And I'm hoping that the aluminum foil will deflect a lot of the heat so it doesn't melt the other side and ruin the effect that I'm trying to do. I'm 
a little bit more. I want a little bit more of the lighter colors here. A little bit more of that blue, some of that green. get it a little bit thicker and some more 3D uh, raised look if you let it dry and then come back to it later and you get you end up building up the colors. Let's move back over here, start on the orange and yellows here in the middle. are good yeah look at that that looks good okay I like the look that it has like this nice clean lines with the, the beads at the end uh, if you want you can let it run right off the edge fill up more of the canvas as you like also, by the way, uh, this is just uh, poster paper glued to the back of a frame that I'm going to put it on. Uh, you'll want to put whatever you're doing on something rigid because when you lift it up, uh, the pieces here are very fragile and you can end up breaking or cracking them. Uh, you can repair it by you know, just putting it back on the page and taking the heat gun back to it but uh, it's pretty noticeable when you do that because then it starts melting around it. You don't get that nice clean look anymore. All right, let's go back to the yellows and orange. I want some more color out of them. So again, I'm keeping it kind of level, just a little bit at a tilt until I get enough of it melted and pulled up. And then I will let it run. dry. The key to it is just going nice and slow. Maybe if you had some freezing spray or some canned air or something that might make the process go a little faster. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it. so. more that yellow. That looks awesome right there. It's coming along pretty nicely now. Uh, the brighter color you use, uh, the more it will pop, especially on a black uh, poster board like this. Of course, you can do whites. Uh, I personally haven't done anything on white because I thought the black looks a lot cooler. And uh, of course, if you use metallics, that looks pretty cool too. I have a couple of my samples done like that, but uh, I actually haven't incorporated it into anything I've made so far. Okay, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And then you just repeat the process I did earlier for the rest of it. And uh, what I did for these is to glue it down, I just took some hot glue, placed it down, and uh, that seems to work fine for me. Of course, you can probably use super glue or anything like that. Uh, 
but uh, if you use super glue or hot glue, of course, it's like instant. You don't have to wait for it to dry. And then once they're finished, uh, what I do is I use a little bit of some clear satin polyurethane. We brush it on. Uh, this one's currently drying, but it leaves a nice, very cool uh, luster to it. it. Makes the colors pop even more, especially in the light. And then uh, after that, I think I'm just gonna frame it in some shadow boxes that I have and maybe put it up on the wall. Well, thank you for watching and good luck to yours.